Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is episode five. Last time we went to the Tower of Ashal and lit the beacon. However, Loghain said, I see your beacon and I say goodbye. And he pieced the hell out, leaving uh, King Kaelin, Duncan, any of the Grey Wardens that were in battle and anyone that was in the battle to die. Uh, and die they did. We got ambushed in the Tower of Ashal, and uh, we're actually rescued by Flemeth, Morrigan's mother, who turned into a giant bird. Um, and now Morrigan has joined our party, uh, which is absolutely the best news uh, for me to receive. Um, and we are going to head to a nearby town and continue our beautiful quest uh, to, I guess, unite the realm against Loghain, because uh, he sucks i suppose uh while also trying to get more gray wardens to fight the darkspawn threat i think that about covers it um i have installed another mod hiding helmets uh because morrigan and alistair have beautiful heads and they are wearing funny hats they they are indeed wearing funny hats uh but if we take off those funny hats in the game they look beautiful, which is great. Um, my inventory is beautiful. Yes, I know how backstabbing works. Have I addressed everything? I think I've addressed everything. <laughs> I know how backstabbing works. I just We just haven't had much opportunity for me to focus on that because the combat's been pretty hectic at the moment and I'm getting my bearings in uh, the Dragon Age combat system. I'm a, I've been aware since episode one that your character as a rogue gets more damage in a backstab because I read that and I also tried doing it when we were stealthing while escaping Barat's prison. So I'm well aware of, uh, of backstabbing um, and I, I know that, you know, I can just position my character behind an enemy and do more damage. Uh, I've just been at a point where I haven't necessarily needed to focus on doing that, you know what I mean? Uh, because... We get, we get ambushed by a lot of enemies. I have to try focus on keeping everybody alive while also trying to be decent at the game, which is a journey in itself. Uh, so thank you for the very passionate reminders of that gameplay. And what I'm going to do is try and uh, try and reduce my inventory space. I think uh, at least what I can do Oh, are you kidding me? That takes off... I can't even equip arrows. Damn it. Well, I'm not able to do that. I was going to try and equip, like, bolts and arrows to every character just to have them on there to get them out of the... out of the inventory space. That doesn't work, unfortunately. That would have been cool if it did. Uh, we do have weapon sets, so I guess I could do this to, um... Can we... <laughs> can we... <laughs> We rock the double mace? We can't, because this is all in the main hand, isn't it? Um, which means, hang on. Let's run, let's let's rock a dagger and barbarian mace combo. This one does more damage and gives me plus one strength. Uh, and then we put the dagger there, perfect. And then in this set, we'll also have a mace and another dagger <laughs> just to get it out of my inventory um i need to get rid of my dlc items because they all take up an immense amount of space um second weapon set for this fella uh we're gonna also put a, a sword in here so you can have another sword uh, and another shield Wait, no. Oh, hang on. That's a two-handed blade, isn't it? So I'm going to give... No, fuck it. Two-handed blade. Why not? You can have a two-handed blade. Can I give him the dwarven belt? I can give him the dwarven warrior's belt. There you go. Be a, be a dwarf. Be a dwarf now. So he's got the dwarven belt. Uh, your second weapon set. <laughs> Give Morrigan an axe. Actually, maybe I'll give her a bow. You can like shoot from like a distance. That bow is massive. 
Because Morrigan's like the, the mage and she'll be at a distance. Maybe she can also do some archery as like a, a second set. Um, let's give her the Darkspawn staff. Actually, do I want to do that? Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Hmm. I think we're good. Let's give uh, Alistair this mud idol, because this is an item that I found in the game. 10 plus cold resistance. There you go. Um, and I think we're good. I freed up a whole five slots <laughs> with that. How good's that? There you go. And they've got their funny hats on and uh, and we're good to go. Can you wear... Oh, the silver bracelet is a gift. There it is. All right. So I can, I can give gifts to a certain party members to influence their approval rating, right? I'm going to do that right now. Um... Do I have to, if I'm on them, do I have to do it here? Yes. Okay, so I gift it to them here. A fine gift. Yeah. You have my thanks. No worries, Morrigan. Got her some jewelry. Got her a silver bracelet. There you go. Improved approval rating. Perfect. Get that out of my inventory. Hell yeah. Gems are apparently not gifts, even though they would make for very perfect gifts. But there you go. Morrigan approves. I think I've now got everything out of the way for this, uh, and now we can begin. Now we can begin. Uh, we've spoken to Flemeth quite a bit about stuff. We've spoken to Alistair, and we were a little bit rude to him, unfortunately, but then he forgave us already, and then we spoke to Morrigan also. It has begun. It has begun. Um, so we're currently deep in the wilds, so I'm not sure where we're going to end up from here, because we haven't actually been here before. Uh, this apparently takes us to the world map. Which is interesting. It's going to take us to the world map. Is it like an overworld scenario? Or is it just a map and we choose our location? Let's have a look. Saving game. Let's let's get a move on. Gather your party and venture forth. It's, it's a world map. There you go. Alright. Let's have a look. For Elden. This is really cool because now we get to actually have like a look at everything. <laughs> World map. You have just opened the world map. It details major locations of interest around the kingdom of Ferelden. You can not You can use the world map to travel to various locations, although some are not available until you meet certain criteria. Okay. So, Ferelden. So we've got the Amarinthian, Amarinthian Ocean, Coastlands, North to the Free Marches, Dragon's Peak, the Banorn, Lake Kalanad. These are all such fantasy names, it's great. The Frostback Mountains. This is the... The Wilds, got it. Kokari Wilds. West to Orle, Golens Pass. So we are at Flemeth's Hut. This is the Kokari Wilds. This is Ostagar. We cannot go to these locations. It looks like we can only go to the small town of Lothering, which is the one that... Uh, Morrigan was talking about. A small town just off the Imperial Highway at the edge of the Hinterlands. Uh, the Brazilian outskirts. Denerim. Lake Callanhad Docks. Circle Tower. Redcliffe Castle. Redcliffe Village. And the Frostback Mountains. So this is all the Frostback Mountains, I guess. Nice. What's this? Party Camp. The current party campsite. Cool. All right, well, I guess let's go to Lothering, because that's the only place that we can go to. Battle. Oh god, are we getting it? Oh, we're getting into a battle on the way? Alrighty then. Who running to you then? Denerim. There's that bastard. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous.
Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. How to make yourself easily look like a villain. Check. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? What a sick burn, dude. Nice. Well, at least people aren't kind of, people aren't kind of buying into his bullshit immediately. That's what I like to see. People are not happy. Squad. Dog! <gasps> Is this my dog? Is this my fucking dog? I think this is my fucking dog. Oh. Oh, you've brought company. <laughs> oh, you brought me friends. Great. Dog. Quick, get the dog. See, look, uh, let, let's just, I'll go over here and let me try and backstab. Oh, wait. I'm gonna get my other people killed <laughs> if I focus too heavily on backstabbing. Here we go, look at me backstabbing. Oh, what, what's this? My focus on backstabbing means that Alistair's gonna die? Oh, who would have guessed? Yes. Oh, he's dead! Oh god. Maybe I should have focused on adjusting and getting used to this combat before my obsession with backstabbing. What do you guys think? It only took sacrificing Alistair's life for me to do some backstabbing, so I guess no, nothing lost, no harm, no foul. He's only gonna have a cracked skull. He wags his tail happily in pants. That's my boy right there. Alistair's just dead in a ditch over in the distance now. <laughs> I think this is the Mabari I helped cure back at Ostagar. I think he was out there looking for you. He's alive. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. My approval rating of Morrigan just went way down and my approval rating of Alistair just went way up. If you're not a dog person, I'm sorry. It can't, it just can't be. If you, if you can't have a dog and if you aren't happy to have a dog with us, I'm sorry. But that's big, big disapproval ratings right there. I've always wanted a dog like this. Maybe it's meant to be. That's fucking right, you happy bark. You my boy, covered in blood or not. <gasps> Please enter a name for the dog. Dex, done. Dex in my codex, let's go. New name for the dog, let's have a look. Characters. Queen Honora. I have to remember that one. Which one's the dog? Antigon? Dex, there we go, dog. This Mabari is clever enough to speak and wise enough to know not to. Oh, maybe we're gonna need to change the name, actually. Might need to change the name. Mapo found this Mabari in the camp at Ostagar. His master was killed in the wilds and Dex fell ill from biting the Darkspawn in battle. Dex seems to have chosen Mapo as his new master now, seeking Mapo out after the battle at Ostagar and uh, warning off an uh, impending Darkspawn attack. Perfect, that's exactly how that, how that went. I, I can fuck with that. I can get behind that. Party approval. One of your party members has begun to genuinely like you and respect your leadership. As you improve your relationships with party members, head back to camp to speak with them. They'll be much more willing to open up when they don't have to worry about death around every corner. And you'll need to talk to them more if you want to continue to improve your relationship. You can track party members approval uh, using the orange bar at the bottom of their records. So we can go back to party camp and get to know our characters more. I like that. Instead of uh, being like, can, 
is, this is not the time. I am in combat, you know. Queen Honora. The only child of the war hero Logain Maktia, Honora has never been one to stay quietly in the background. It is common knowledge that in the five years Honora and Kaelin held the throne together. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay, so she was married to Kaelin, but is the child of Logain. Okay. She was the one wielding the power. She is held in much higher esteem than her husband by the people of Ferelden, nobility and commoners alike, and commands the respect even of foreign nations, having once inspired Empress Selene of Orlai, sorry, Orlai, to declare Anora of Ferelden is a solitary rose among brambles. Nice. Bantigan Garen. The Benorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. I respect this guy. I fuck with him. He's great. He did not bow to Lugain immediately. Younger brother to Arl Eamon. Oh, he's the brother of Eamon too. Of Redcliffe, an uncle to King Caelan. Everyone's related. Tegan holds the Benorn of Rainsfair, a tiny province of Redcliffe uh, squeezed between the Frostback Mountains and Lake Callanhad. Ban Tegan avoids the Denerim court, except to go hunting with his nephew and rarely makes himself heard at the land's meet, preferring to leave politics to his brother. Cool. Logain Mactir. Logain was born a farmer during a time when his country was under foreign occupation. When he was still a boy, he joined the resistance, where his considerable tactical genius quickly became apparent. Now, we read this already, so I think it's just maybe updating like the quotes. And then, yes, so it's just updating the bottom part. So during the battle, he fled, and then he then returned to Denerim and declared himself the regent to his daughter. Hang on a, se hang on a, se hang on a second. Wait a minute. Regent. Just, just give me one second. Just need to get an understanding for what I'm getting into here. Oh yes, a person appointed to administer a state because the monarch is a minor or is absent or incapacitated. Right. Cool. All right. So he has declared himself regent to his daughter, Queen Anora, demanding that Ferelden follow him against the Darkspawn, upsetting a great many of the bands. I'm glad that he's upset people and he just doesn't get away with it easily. That's good shit. Okay. Party approval world map wonderful stuff i have a i have a dog in my party let's fucking go dog party member i'm so excited so that's our fourth person it's our fourth person in our team that's perfect all right let's uh bump our what's cunning again learns and reasons most skills herbalism or combat tactics a quick mind Rogues benefit most from this stat as many of their class abilities and special attacks rely on subtlety or reading the target, not raw strength. I'm going to just bump that one up to 20 real quick. All right, let's get a improved combat training. I'm going to get improved combat training. And then as, a, as with my talents, let's also go for... I'm going to go for combat mo 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 combat movement. Um, quick stepping rogue can easily outmaneuver opponents, granting a wider flanking angle that makes backstabs easier to achieve. There we go. Easier backstabs. There you go. That's nice. Let's do that. And I got another tactics slot. Hell yeah. All right. First things first, when we get to this town of Lothering, is I'm going to sell my gear. So I can free up some inventory slots. I'm going to buy a backpack. And I'm sad that I didn't buy the backpack um, at Ostagar. I did not expect us to not be returning there. I'm just glad that my Mabari hound has followed me home, dude. Well, not followed me home, but tracked my scent and Im imprinted upon me. I have dog, so I am happy. All right, let's move on from the deserted farmland. Venture forth. And then we proceed on to our destination. Hell yeah. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. Led by a dwarf, oddly enough. Got a problem? Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say... Teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. 
I'm going to stab you in the back. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Uh, heads are about to roll, I think. Forget it, I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. You have right. a very annoying voice. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Awesome. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. Whoa. Huh. So Logain is now, he's actually pinned it on the Grey Wardens. And put bounties on our heads. What a fucking trash bag. Let's try Persuade now. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. What reverse psychology is this? They're like, we want 10 silvers for you to pass. How about you give me 20? Done. Done deal. Not enough, I'm afraid. And just when we had things settled. Kill him! I, I, was, I was out for blood anyway. I am your turn. Uh -huh. It is your time to die. <laughs> Look at my ex expanded, look at my expanded backstab range. This is the episode where I obsess with backstabs for you guys, right? I'm obsessed with them. Oh god, he got stunned as he was about to drink! If only I wasn't backstabbing, he would have lived! All right. Good day. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn <laughs> get us all. Surrender, hey? This surrender. I just killed all of your friends. This shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. I guess so. Oh. Oh, what's going on here? Let's have a look. Look at our options. I might ask for the, some questions first, and then we'll see what happens. Hand over everything you've stolen. I love robbing the robbers. Steal from the robbers and give to me. I want some questions answered. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. What's going on in Lothering? It's packed full. The band took his men north with Ter and Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? You absolutely do not have a family. What exactly have you been doing? Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farmholders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Have you heard about any survivors from the battle? A couple, maybe. A group of wounded ash warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. Ash warriors and their dogs. I need to find them. What news have you heard? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the king during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Logain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Yep, yeah, you don't think that's fishy at all? Well then, let me go! Let me go! Also, other people have pointed out that you can turn the blood spray off in, in dialogue. I just think that breaks the immersion. If I have just beaten a group of men half to death and I have covered myself in the blood of my enemies, I intend to wear that blood with pride. So I'm not going to delete it from me. I'm going to wear it and I'll get clean later. Uh, when I scene transition to a new location, we wipe it off. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. I'm rich! The rest is in the chest we brought. I'm a rich dwarf. Let's go. 
You'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. That's an interesting one. How does that work? We've got four people in our party already. I, I doubt these people are going to join our party. What does that even mean? Um. Hmm. Start running and don't come back. Bless you. The darkspawn can have this place. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Ooh, Dead Templar. Knight's Locket and a Knight's Note. Crumpled note is written by Sir Henrik. A knight of Redcliffe. And this golden locket bears within it a tiny painting of a pretty brown-haired young woman. It is impossible to tell who the woman might be, but whoever owned the locket was quite fond of her. Gotcha. New quest. Fallen Templar. Alright, we've got a bunch of shit in the, in the codex now for us to read. Uh, Alistair, what kind of injuries do you bear? A cracked skull and a broken bone, eh? Well... I, I might have perhaps been able to save your life, but I was too busy focusing on my backstabbing. Should care about you. All right, let's quick save and let's check our quests. I found the body of a Templar slain by bandits. His corpse had been picked clean of everything, save a note and a locket. Perhaps the locket will mean something to someone back in Lothering. Um, nice. Rest and resupply. Okay, we got stuff. Let's check our codex, so our culture and history. So we've got Lothring. In ancient times, Lothring was little more than a trading post that served the fortress of Ostagar to the south. Nowadays, it is larger, serving Redcliffe and the community of merchants and surface dwarves near Orzammar. Its location on the North Road gives it strategic value, so control of Lothring has historically been a matter of contention between the southern Banorn and the south reach Arling. King Callan had... King Callan had? Calen had? King Callan had ste himself stepped in and awarded the town to Southreach in the Exalted Age, which has largely ended the feud, or at least the appearance of it. Nice. Okay. Okay. Notes. A note from Sir Henrik. So this is the Templar's letter. So many of my fellow knights have been searching for the urn. Surely one of them must have found Brother Genetivi by now. Still, until I hear that all is well, I must proceed as planned. Brother Genetivi holds the key to finding the urn of sacred ashes. We always knew this, but I believe I now know where Brother Genetivi lies. I have been to his home in Denerim and found the trail, and I am am amazed that other knights have not done likewise. Unless they have. No, it is best not to get caught up in thoughts of conspiracy. Sir Donal awaits my report in Lothering. I must go to him immediately and report what I have learned. Should anyone find these ramblings, all I ask is that he be informed of my fate. I pray that he complete what I cannot. So they're trying to find Brother Genetivi. So many knights have been searching for the urn, and the urn is with Brother Genetivi, who has essentially given us a lot of our lore information, I think. Um... Yeah, he, he writes In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Genetivi. He writes us our codec entries. Interestingly enough. All right. And this is our loot. A trap trigger and green stone. Nice. And chain mail. Uh, I believe I would have just gotten that money. I guess when our... Like the amount of silver you have ticks over to a certain amount. It auto does it automatically get converted to like one gold? Because he said it was like over a hundred silvers, wasn't it? I don't know how many how many gold pieces we had before. Hang on. I'm a I'm a load my game to double check. How much money did we have before we engaged in that combat? Correct. So I guess when you reach a certain amount of silver, it just ticks over into a gold piece. Nice. Oh. Quick loading did not allow me to load my latest quick save. There we go. That's how you can double check how the coin system works. I feel like that worked out in our favor. We've got a bunch of money. Well, there it is. I do need money. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Lothering. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? 
before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Fucking Alistair's just getting bullied by Morrigan. Ah, uh, there's a you have been very quiet, Alistair, or leave him alone, Morrigan. What did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, <laughs> I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Okay. You have some thoughts on that point, Alistair? This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Uh, no, not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. What do you think we should do, Morrigan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. <laughs> I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, team. Settle down. Settle down, will ya? Chickens! Chicken chaser! Chicken chaser! I can't, I can't hunt down chickens for food. All right, bunch of refugees, bunch of chickens. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Roaming dialogue from the characters talking to each other? Absolutely, yes, please. It has begun. Oh, it's so good. Characters that actually just talk to each other when you're running around is is fucking perfect. I'm so happy about that. I talk to my dog. Can you do something about this gory mess? Oh, he cleaned me up. He licked. Does that mean he licked me? He licked me clean. I guess that confirms it. Dog just cleaned me. Perfect. A dwarven shower. I get cleaned. Do you see anything interesting? Oh, Dex doesn't seem... Oh my god, you can use him to find shit! Dex doesn't seem to have found anything. It's typical. Continue. <laughs> we can ask him to find items when we enter areas. That's so cool. Let's, let's pet him. He rolls around happily on his back. Lovely. Perfect. Okay. As you say. As you say. Um, oh god, they look dead. Are they dead? They don't look alive. I'm scared. <laughs> when are we going home? Nope, they are alive. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. Why are you lying down like that? What are you looking at? <laughs> they look fucking dead. They look like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. They made eye contact with the Basilisk and they are petrified. Absolutely. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. I'm scared. 
when are we going, going home? home? Ah, yes, the one voice actor per character type. I love it. Every girl is the same voice. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. Two different female voices. I'm scared. When are we going home? Boy. Refugee boy. What will happen to us now that the king is dead? We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many didn't. Yeah, about that money. It's a shame that they had that and they took it all and ran off. And I don't have any of that coin. There isn't enough food. Even the Chantry is preparing to leave. Where are we supposed to go? What are you proposing? Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. We don't see many dwarves in these parts. You here to trade? That was said with somewhat of a malicious intent, by the way. Uh, I don't appreciate your tone. Not every dwarf is a merchant, you know. Yeah, and my Aunt Fanny's an Orlesian Chevalier. You working with a fella by the bridge? <laughs> I am. Excuse me? There's a dwarf by the bridge? Not a dwarf. A merchant, gouging folks by charging a fortune for the basics. They shouldn't have come here with nothing, I guess. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. I'm going to kick you in the balls with my head. Who's in charge of this village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? Yeah, I'll take that as a thank you. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's will be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Great, I will have a chat to him. What's going on here? What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalimhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. Don't let me stop you. Is there a turn off ta not attacking civilians button so I can whack this guy? <laughs> Just give him a bit of a smack. God damn it. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. I wonder if that creature they lock up on the highway is involved with this. Is it a dark spawn? Creature locked up on the highway. Where can we go? This is no better than what we left. I'm scared. When are we going home? Where can we go? This is no I'm better scared. than what we left. When are we going home? When are we going home? I'm going to try and get used to the tactical cam. There. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Oh, Gideon Emery. Nice. He's a Templar. Of course he is. He's got a Templar voice. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll I like, to those I bandits. like Gideon Emery. Many didn't. Very recognizable voice, though. It's literally just his voice. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Um, I was looking for some news, actually. You might find that, though it's probably just frightened gossip. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I love the zoom in on the characters' faces if they're not wearing a helmet obscuring everything except the reflection in their, like, the light in their pupils. <laughs> Are you keeping me from going in? I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Is anyone in charge here? The band has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Okay. I'm a, I'm a do just that. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay Where the toll to those bandits. This as is if no we better than needed more fighting Mother here. Mother says we have to run Don't you see how scared happened? everyone is? I can't again. believe that Kunari Why creature isn't dead yet. Heal them. <laughs> just get everyone to talk at the same time. I hear those bandits are back again. Ooh. Why don't the Templars kill them? I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. We were lucky. We okay, so there's, there is some new dialogue sometimes, which is cool. Is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Um, so there's a 
Quinari creature? I hear you drove off those bandits. Somewhere? I hope they don't come yeah, I'll try and get I'll try and get used to this camera angle. Um and then try and use it in, in combat scenarios more. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? I gotta say, this is one of my favorite starting parties of a game so far that we've played. Like out of a Bioware game. You start off with uh, a, a cool ex-Templar, a witch of the wilds, a dog, and I'm a dwarf. What a goddamn assembly. I love this. I love this group. Fellowship of the dragon. Get rid of the, get rid of the tiny part and I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. This is the type of man to buy up all the toilet paper before a pandemic, and then he sells it at five times the price. Um, hmm. I see both sides of the equation here, but also there could be a little bit of compromise here, sir. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm the not city. arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Yes, there's a persuade option to make a compromise. That's what I was thinking to, that we'd be able to do. Let's, let's do that. Uh, I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? Perhaps. If that woman agrees I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Morgan disapproves! No, That's alright. It's still at plus 15. It shall be done. I'll just steal from the merchant real quick. It has begun. Studded helmet. Alright, well, this is a merchant. I can take shit now and sell it to this bad boy. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Why are you rude now? I am indeed. Let's see what you have. Alright. Just don't buy everything up. All right, let's see. Uh, this is what I have. Let's sell some shit. All right, time to time to sell stuff. Um, can I actually? Uh, I should take off the equipment that I've just given to everyone that I'm probably not gonna use. Studded helmet. Sell. I kind of want to... I'm saving the deal. I, I feel like... I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about the... Um, the DLC stuff. If I'm going if I'm to use it or not. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of want to use them when I can get to them. Like, something like this Blood Dragon plate that I can't even use until I have 38 strength. I'll probably be keen to use that at some point. This 32 strength shield, though? I don't know. We'll see. Um... Six plus six defense on the chastened robes, though, which is actually quite interesting for for robes. Oh shit! I've got my war paint of the wolfhound. I can put that on my dog. I didn't even think about that. Um, I'm really interested in these gems. Are they only to be sold? 
Or can they be used for something else? I wonder. That's also uh, a question that I have. I'm assuming that for like wolf pelts, you just you just sell them, right? Like you wouldn't. Uh, maybe would you use them to? I don't know if what else you would use them for. I'm gonna sell them. There's always more wolves out there. We're gonna sell these iron rings. Um. A surveyor ring plus one willpower. Cool. Um, these are runes, which are upgrading weapons weapons by enchanting them. So we'll keep those. I need a backpack. You you be selling a backpack, please. Backpack. Sell bag, please. Bag. No bag. To see it. Fuck me. I'm really annoyed that I missed the chance to buy uh, a backpack in that first thing because I didn't think I it would be a point in a return. Splint Mail needs 22 strength. He's got nothing though. Mm. Crushing a lifestone gives the user a small bonus to nature resistance for a short time. That's cool. Fire Crystal. Small bonus to fire resistance, small bonus to cold. A corruptor agent said to have been made from livestone that has been corrupted by the darkspawn taint in the deep roads. This powdery agent is required to create some of the most powerful poisons and traps known. Uh, we got recipes that you can buy that requires improved poison making. A swift salve increases the user, user's movement and attack speed for a short time. Okay, okay. Some of this stuff's pretty expensive, eh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need these health poultices, though. So I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy those. So expensive, so expensive. I'm gonna buy them though, cause I need them. Um, I think that'll probably be it. I was really hoping that this dude would have a backpack. You'd, th you'd think that he would, right? I feel like it's almost unfair that he, <laughs> he doesn't. Um, let's get rid of this Dwarven Longsword. I'm going to get rid of the Chastened Crusher. Because I all of this stuff, I feel like we're probably in typical RPG fantasy format in a game like this. We will be getting better stuff real soon. So we probably won't even need to have any of this. You know, I'll keep some of it. But I just feel like we may as well sell our shit for money. What is this flawed natural crystal? Cannot equip. It's an equip thing. Converts all damage to nature damage. Plus 10 pots. What is this? Who can we equip it to? Who can have a crystal? That's interesting. Let me have a look. Who can wield a crystal? Like, if you can't wield a crystal, who can? Oh, we can get him a collar, dude. We can get him a collar. All right, here's your wall paint. Fuck yeah. It dates back to the Black Age. So it gives plus four damage against beasts. Nice. We can get a collar. A comfortably stretched and presumably familiar collar. There's a printed family crest, but the collar has gone out of it. Cool. All right. Um, what I'm probably going to do is if we go to these characters' armor sets... Um, this was two plus damage against dark spawn, this one's plus one strength. I'm gonna keep that, and I'm gonna keep my enchanted dagger. I'll keep this, I reckon. On Alistair... I reckon I'll keep the... flat blade too. I'll keep that. Um... Yeah, I want, so there's going to be a character at some point that can wield a, that can be equipped with a crystal, I suppose. Uh, Morrigan, I'm going to keep the bow on you as well. You can keep that. Um, I kind of wish that there was an option in the settings to have um, the ability to, no matter what you put on the character, on like your NPC characters, they will always still have like their default appearance. So if you want to put her in the chasing robes, it doesn't end up looking like this. Oh, because all this does right all this does for me is this makes me never want to put any other clothes on them because i'm just like what is what is this <laughs> what is that 
<laughs> but it's plus six defense, you know what I mean? Like, goddamn. Well, you're screwed. <laughs> and that looks so bad. I love it. That's so funny. All right. Anyway, back on track. I have sold some things, but not enough. Huh. Don't suppose um, you're looking to buy something. Not enough. All right. I might sell some of uh, the, these lesser potions, right? I'll get rid of. I'll get rid of these because it restores users' mana. I'll get rid of the lesser ones. I feel like I need a lot of this for all my crafting and my traps and stuff. All right. And uh, I will like to reassure you that as time goes on, I'll probably include less time spent in menus and inventories and stores as the playthrough goes on. We get more comfortable with things. This I'm only including this kind of stuff in here right at the moment because it's a, a learning process um, of actually seeing how things work. And, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, Golden Scythe 490 Black, a gift. This battlefield spirit maintains a chill even in direct sunlight, which it appears to absorb. Optimal serving is by the drop. Contact with exposed flesh is discouraged, but likely inevitable. And six flasks. Nice, got some alcohol and some flasks, nice. Um, Morrigan. I know I just gave you a gift, but do you want another one? You want... Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I need to equip it to the character, don't I? Name Morrigan. A fine gift. I know. You have right? my thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. You are so welcome. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Greetings, Sir Dwarf. Your folk are famous for their generosity. Might you spare some bread? Do I have bread? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Pet Nobody lamb? Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? I love elves. Here's 50 silvers. Thank you. That's very kind. Bless you. This will help us a great deal. You're welcome. Morrigan approves, interestingly enough. Oh, actually, no, I think that is just because we gave a gift. Never mind. Morrigan. I don't think Morrigan approves of that. That was different. That was for the gift, wasn't it? Mother, where are you? Mother, where are you? Have you seen my mother? Um, that depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. All right, come with me then, mate. I'll help you look. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here <sighs> in the village. Then fucking wait then, mate. See you later. Uh, go to the Shantry, child. Someone will look after you. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. All right. So, um, you're a dwarf, aren't you? Uh, did my height give me away? Father says dwarves are really greedy. But you're not greedy at all. Thank you for helping me. Yep, I absolute. Oh no, Morrigan does approve. It did pop up there. Okay. Never mind then. So I did get Mar. I'm get Morrigan. I'm get getting Morrigan's approval. Good shit. Good shit. All right. I hear you drove off those bandits. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? I'm just going to pick up all of this, like, how much does this sell for? 12? Yeah, we're definitely not greedy. I haven't had any focus on money in this game whatsoever. There's been no part of me that has tried to obtain a lot of coin. No greed. Look, mate. How else am I supposed to get a backpack? My dream scenario is 
that merchant from Ostagar survives and he says, You there, sir, you forgot to buy this backpack. Here, make up for your silly little mistake and have it on the house. Hopefully I have another chance to buy a, uh, a backpack soon. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be upset. To... All right. Otherwise I will be upset. Alright. Um, small elm shield. Sell them. Six silvers. Gotta make back that money that I the gave somehow. Are still operating Where are you from? Forward. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. My hearth is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Um, who are you exactly? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you don't talk much, do you? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Is he touched in the head or something? Um, what's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Ah. Side quests, do little odd jobs, get paid for it. So if I wanted to thatch a roof, I'd talk to him. It's like a vow of silence then? He can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Nice, okay. Um, a chanter says, what? What? Oh, you got him to speak! Ha! <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. <laughs> I got him to say what? <laughs> Smells like updog in here. Have anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Alright, mate. Chanter's board. Let's have a look. Bandits. Bandits everywhere. As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant, Templar, and Defender of the Faith. Know all those that prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution. Oh, shit. Well, I didn't do either of those. <laughs> I mean, I can just lie. Yeah, they're dead. Dead to the world. Um, apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern woods and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. I guess we haven't actually dealt with the bandits themselves, right? Just some highwaymen? Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated there are three bandit groups. Okay, there we go. In the northern wood, this humble chanter would echo Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up another victim to these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the maker look after his children in our hour of need. Hell yeah. So the, a job board. I'm going to warn you, and this will be a stern warning ahead of time, is I am very immersed in this game, right? So I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do uh, everything to the best of my ability, right? Uh, every side quest, we're going to talk to everyone. We're going to explore everything. I want to make this like a Dungeons and Dragons level critical role, 6,000 episode long series if possible, right? That's an exaggeration, but I need you guys to strap in and prepare yourselves for a slower paced not rushed dragon age playthrough because there's a lot in this game there's a lot of dialogue there's an insane amount of information and lore to be found everywhere even in just the just the random conversations that you have with with people uh so you you need to you need to get ready to chill get your snacks and prepare for a long playthrough i reckon because it's gonna it's gonna be like that. It do 
you do be like that. I'm excited to see how this this, this playthrough is going to go, how long it will actually end up being. But like we've barely, I feel like we've barely touched anything. Like, it feels like we've barely scratched the surface. Um, but the last thing I want to do is sort of like skip over things and just go, eh, nah, main quest only. You know what I mean? We're going to be doing everything and anything. Put the fucking seal on that paper. I'm going to take out these bandits. I have accepted this quest. Um... Yeah, I, I genuinely am really enjoying every aspect of this game so far. There's nothing about this game that has rubbed me the wrong way. You know what I mean? It's it's spectacular. I, I instantly am in love with it. Like I've, I said that I love fantasy stuff and I love my RPGs and mixing it all together in a Bioware sort of setting. I, I genuinely would not even be surprised to see this one sort of like inch above mass effect and knights of the old republic depending on how things play out in this game and the rest of the series but i'm i'm really happy with what we've been presented so far and we're only like a few hours in so if it doesn't all fall apart we'll see how we go as if we needed more fighting here don't you see how scared everyone is there'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave the legions of evil are on your doorstep they will feast upon our hearts! There is nowhere to run! This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts! Please, you're scaring the children! Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands! There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This man bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? I'm going to take that as a hate crime. I'm going to take that as a hate crime. Um, is no one going to shut this madman up? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the Black Horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Okay. Um. Hmm. Don't be a fool. Darkspawn can be defeated. No, I have seen them. You cannot run. You cannot fight. You poor man. What happened to you? My family, my clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the Darkspawn. It must have been horrible. How did you escape? No, I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn. I mean, he's not half wrong, bro. I did drink, like, Darkspawn juices wherever they came from, from their body. I did, I, I, yeah, I do stink a bit. But I'm going to persuade you now because I'm a charming fellow and I'm not evil. Please, won't you talk to me? I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. Oh, so you're a coward. You are not honoring her death by acting like this. Are you calling me a coward? That's actually exactly what I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm calling you an idiot. Listen to yourself for a moment. I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. <laughs> He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Darkspawn will feast on your living hearts. They will take your children. Did anyone hear that? It was a ghost. There was a ghost with dialogue above it. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Nice, <laughs> okay. Pile of sacks. A dagger. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm scared. When are we going home? Sir Marin. 
Okay, is there only one way for us to go through this whole thing? There is a bridge that goes over to someone called Allison and Dean's Refuge. So let's check out the Chantry first because it's on this side and then we'll cross the, we'll cross the bridge. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. But I'm small. I can fit. Do I look like a refugee to you? So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. I know it's not something many dwarves do, but if you wish to offer devotion to the Maker, you may enter. Goodbye. Classic Bioware response right there. Goodbye. So who's in charge of this Chantry? The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar stationed here. It takes forever for my dialogue options to come up <laughs> in, in, with this guy. Uh, did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Okay, have you heard any news? Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Goodbye. Make her watch over you. Head in. I'm getting paid. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. I got call my dog looks with its war paint on. Um, it's so huge as well. Like, I am, I am literally like the perfect size to ride this bad boy into battle. Like, look at this shit. I, I, I can't wait. I need, I need to mount. Surely I can have a mount, and I'm gonna ride into battle. It'd be, it'd be perfect. I almost feel sorry for the Kunari locked in that cage. Mm, Kunari. It won't be able to defend itself from the Darkspawn. Why do I feel like the constant mentions to a, uh, a creature in a cage and Kunari mentions uh, is just teasing us for a new another party member? <laughs> They're just like, we'll free the Kunari and then have to decide who we want in our party. I can't believe the Kunari in that cage isn't dead yet. It's been three weeks. Why didn't they just execute him? What is a Quinari? I would like to know. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. And this is another thing, There's one right? There's darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. May the Maker have mercy on us. This is another thing that I really like about this game so far, is talking to just, like, the civilians gives useful information. Like they actually talk about stuff that you wouldn't hear about otherwise. So it's useful to not just run past them. Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? Uh, uh where is she? In her office arranging for everyone to leave, I suppose. I don't think she's with anyone right now. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Uh, not to be rude. But how's a dwarf come to be here? I've seen you people in Lothering sometimes, but never the Chantry. I popped out of the ground like a potato, and I'm here. I'm here now. Is there anything wrong with a, a dwarf honoring the Maker? It's wonderful how the Maker's arms are wide enough for all the nations of Thedas. Well, good luck to you. I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. All right, and, and he disappeared, never to be seen again. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. Please, we came here Please. to get away from the fighting. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. Oh, book. Book. The First Blight, chapter one. Book. We must read book. It is the rules. Let us learn. The History of the Chantry, Chapter 1. Was that the one? It was just this one. There was the first blight. I don't know why it went to that one automatically. The First Blight, Chapter 1. Thedas is a land of fierce diversity, from the assassin princes of Antiva, nice, to the faded griffins of the Anderfells. But in my travels, I have found one tale that unites the people of this land. It is a story of pride and damnation, and although the telling differs, the essence of the tale remains the same. 
At the height of its power, the Tevinta Imperium stretched over much of Thedas, uniting the known world under the rule of the tyrannical Magisters. It is said that the old gods whom the Magisters worshipped gave them the knowledge of blood magic, and the Magisters used this forbidden power to cement their rule. The blood of elven slaves and humans alike ran down imperial altars to fuel Magister greed, the tales of their excesses so horrifying that one can only be grateful that blood magic is prohibited today. But all that stands tall must eventually fall. Perhaps they foresaw their ruin, or perhaps their pride knew no bounds, but whatever the reason, the Magisters dared to open a magical portal into the Golden City at the heart of the Fade. The Magisters dared to open a magical portal into the Golden City at the heart of the Fade. They sought to usurp the Maker's throne, long left unattended in the Golden City after the Maker turned his back on his creations. They would storm heaven itself with their power and become as gods. Did this actually happen though? They're like, I'm gonna open a portal to heaven real quick and kill God? This is what the Chantry, in its oft-exercised tendency to understate, refers to as the second sin. According to most versions of this tale, the Magisters did indeed reach the Golden City and walked into the home of the Maker, where no living being before them had dared or been able to tread. But humanity is not meant to walk in heaven. The Magisters were wicked with pride and other sins, and their presence tainted the Golden City. What once was a perfect holy citadel became a twisted home of darkness and nightmares. The Magisters were expelled back through their gateway and cursed for their treachery as the Golden City had been tainted, so were the Magisters twisted and transformed into things of darkness, the very first of the Darkspawn. The Golden City, once a shining beacon at the heart of the Fade, became the Black City, a reminder that all of man's pride had cost. From Tales of the Destruction of Thetis, what the fuck? <laughs> so this happened, but the tale does kind of change a little bit. The telling differs, but the essence of it remains the same in regards to the first blight. The lore in this game is top tier, dude. Like it is next level. And we've barely read anything. We're only at three out of 35 books. I love that it tells us how many items there are as well in the game. That's really useful gives us like an idea of like the size and scope of how much information is out there for us to to learn about more games should do this more games should have um like a number on how many entries there are in things i'm surprised it's not in mass effect uh that is that is top tier storytelling i am excited you miss what is your name you seem quite odd to me you would not be the first to think so, but avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. The eyes are so creepy through the helmet. Is that I'll be watching you, mate. My eyes are up here, Morrigan says. And then I chime in and say my eyes are down here. So it's very confusing when you look at us side by side because my eye level is at her level. Greetings, and welcome to the Chantry. Oh, he's nice now. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many didn't. Oh, I can't talk to this guy. Okay. He's not a talkable character. Okay. Sir Bryant, I wish to be paid. Yes? Who might you be? Oh, man. If I say I'm a Grey Warden, I feel like that might cause trouble, bro. I might not announce myself as a Grey Warden right away, considering the whole, uh, you know, information we've learned about us being blamed for the death of the king and all that. So I'm just going to say, you can call me Mapo. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Um, uh, and if I were? I'd tell you what I told the others. Nothing here will assist your quest. The urn of sacred ashes is a myth. You just read about that with uh, Brother Genetivi. What is the urn of sacred ashes? A mythical relic of Andraste. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies. Well, never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. 
Hmm. Things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Ah, uh, I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. King Kaelin had no heir? None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Dude. Dude. Genuinely, this dialogue's 10 out of 10. I'm loving the, the dialogue. Like, good, good writing. There's just so many sentences that are being spoken here that kind of fill me with an unbridled joy. Like, it's just so satisfying to have people say some, some lines in this game and just be like, fuck yeah. Like, absolutely. So good. <laughs> It's not like boring dialogue where I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, get on to the next thing. I'm like hanging on words here. It's so good. I don't even know this guy. But he's 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 wise beyond his years. So good. What is wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. Oh. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. Ah, One yes. of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. We are searching for the urn of Andraste, where you sniff his ashes and you'll go into some sort of healing trip. <laughs> sniff a dead legend's ashes. Perfect. Um, if the matter is important, certainly. Is there an, anything else I can ask you? Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Okay. Um, and if you found an unsanctioned mage, certainly not one that stood like five, two meters away from me. Let us pretend that I was such a mage. What would you do to me? Hmm? Oh, I have no time to even think about such things. What would you do to me? My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the darkspawn. If I, if I was there, what would you what would you do? How do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. I'm surprised at the lack of uh, Alistair chiming in with anything at the moment, considering the Templar history. Where would I find the revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Okay. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Okay. If the matter is important, certainly. I think that's it. Yeah. I have nothing else to ask. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, about those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? <laughs> they robbed me. I demand compensation. Uh, one less, I drove them off myself. Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. Oh. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Absolutely, dude. I could keep an eye out for trouble for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help, to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The Chanters even offer pay for some of them. Absolutely. No, unless there's something else you need. No, that's it. Thank you. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. I can say I should go. I feel that it's trouble to mention that I'm a Grey Worm right now. Like, it feels like a dangerous thing to just go chanting, you know? I'm going to hold on to it for, for now. I'm going to say I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. I'm going to quick save. 
what got added in here? Let's have a look. Characters. Arleman. He fell ill with a mysterious condition that even magic could not treat. I'm a big fan, massive fan, of not only the Codex updating with information as it comes to you so it doesn't spoil future things, but it also gives you a notification that it's done so instead of just updating in the background. Massive fan of that. So good. All right, I did get paid. I'm not sure how much. The game really needs to tell you when you get paid money, I think. Unless I'm just not seeing where that comes in. And there's Sir Donal. And this is part of our main quest as well. I'm here to go and find- to Make us folk. Chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled, fear and ignorance. I'm here to uh, sniff some ashes. Okay. The maker in magic and religion. There was no word for heaven or for earth, for sea or sky. All that existed was silence. Then the voice of the maker rang out the first word, and his word became all that might be. Dream and idea, hope and fear, endless possibilities. And from it made his firstborn, and he said to them, in my image I forge you. To you I give dominion over all that exists. By your will may all things be done. Then in the center of heaven he called forth a city with towers of gold, streets with music for cobblestones, and banners which flew without wind. There he dwelled, waiting to see the wonders his children would create. The children of the Maker gathered before his golden throne and sang hymns of praise unending, but their songs were the songs of the cobblestones. They shone with the golden light reflected from the Maker's throne. They held forth the banners that flew on their own. And the voice of the Maker shook the fade, saying, In my image I have wrought, my firstborn. You have been given dominion over all that exists. By your will, all things are done. Yet you do nothing. The realm I have given you is formless, ever-changing. And he knew he had wrought amiss. So the Maker turned from his firstborn and took from the fade a measure of its living flesh and placed it apart from the spirits, and he spoke to it, saying, Here I decree opposition in all things, for earth, sky, for winter, summer, for darkness, light. By my will alone is balance sundered, and the world given new life. And no longer was it formless, ever changing, but held fast, immutable, with words for heaven and for earth, sea and sky. At last did the Maker, from the living world, make men immutable as the substance of the earth, with souls made of dream and idea, hope and fear, endless possibilities. Then the Maker said, To you, my secondborn, I grant this gift. In your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame, all-consuming and never satisfied. From the fade I crafted you, and to the fade you shall return, each night in dreams, that you may always remember me. And then the Maker sealed the gates of the Golden City, and there he dwelled, waiting to see the wonders his children would create. Threnodes 5, 1 to 8. God damn. That's a hell of a story about the Maker. Let those who cry out from the shadows be no shit. At you those wonder who seek redemption if that's an accurate delivered. likeness of Andraste. At those who have sinned, maybe she Alistair, was listening. Given. Maybe she and had but the chant feet. spreads across all uh, four corners of the world, shh. let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind be humbled. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the Maker return to us. 
and then shall the Maker return to the black city in heaven, and then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind be humbled. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered mm. in the darkness. Okay. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all... All right, interesting. So it's it seems as though basically it starts off with there being, you know, God has made the world and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then the story comes in about the first blight and darkness coming in. I have like two thoughts immediately where they, you know, they're talking about sort of the maker has come in. Then I guess people were like, fuck it. We want to go visit this place. They tried to magic portal their way to heaven. And then as like punishment, the dark spawn was created. Um, and now it's the black city. And now it seems that the whole entire world is in sort of some collective attempt to you know, make up for the sins that were committed by people in the past to uh, have the Black City be returned back to its former glory and the Darkspawn defeated the Blights, you know, no more. But when he was talking about with darkness, there being light and stuff like that in the, the Maker's chant, it was like, my first thought was like, did he just create the, <laughs> is the second born the Darkspawn? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the first born is like light. And then the, the second born is darkness, and they're like, go and go and have fun. Four corners of the world. But very, very, very Let interesting. Rise at last to the ears of the maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. I can't talk to these people, so they're just gonna keep keep talking. Let's and rob their cabinet the while they talk. Oh, I can't unlock and it. Never mind. The maker return to the black city you are welcome here, so long as you cause no trouble. Can I close the door, and so they can stop talking? How do I block out the sound? Stop talking. Please. Oh, there's a book. Book. The Imperial Chantry on the Schism of Imperial. All right, let's have a look. The Imperial Chantry. There are those who would tell you that the Chantry is the same everywhere as it is here, that the Divine in Valroyo reigns supreme in the eyes of the Maker, and that this fact is unquestioned throughout Thetis. Do not believe it. The Maker's second commandment, magic must serve man, not rule over him, never held the same meaning within the ancient Tevinter Imperium as it did elsewhere. The Chantry there interpreted the rule as meaning that mages should never control the minds of other men, and that otherwise their magic should benefit the rulers of men as much as possible. When the clerics of Tevinter altered the Chant of Light to reflect this interpretation of the commandment, the Divine in Valroyo ordered the clerics to revert to the original chant. They refused, claiming corruption within Valroyo, an argument that grew until, in 4-87 towers, the Chantry in Tevinter elected its own legitimate and uncorrupted divine Valhal, Valhal, who was not only male, but also happened to be one of the most prominent members of the Tevinter Circle of the Magi. This black divine was reviled outside Tevinter, his existence an offense to the Chantry in Valroyo. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so I'm just rolling with it. After four exalted marches to dislodge these rebels, all the Chantry uh, in Valroyal accomplished was to cement the separation. While most aspects of the Imperial Chantry's teachings were, are the same, prohibitions against magic have been weakened and male priests have become more prevalent. The Circle of the Magi today rules Tevinter directly ever since the Archon Namaran was elected in 734 Storm directly from the ranks of the Enchanters, to great applause from the public. He dispensed with the old rules, forbidding mages from taking part in politics, and within a century, the true rulers within the various Imperial Houses, the mages, took their places openly with the government. The Imperial Divine is now always drawn from the ranks of the first Enchanters and operates as Divine and Grand Enchanter both. This is utter heresy to any member of the Chantry outside of Tevinter, a return to the days of the Magisters, which brought the Blights down upon us. But it exists, and even though we have left the Tevinter Imperium to the mercies of the dread Quinari, 
they, uh, they're still there endured. Further confrontation between the divine, the black divine and our so-called white divine is inevitable. Ooh. From Edicts of the Black Divine by Father David of Quirinus, 8-11 blessed. So the Quinari was mentioned here as well. We have left the Tevinta Imperium to the mercies of the dread Quinari. I'm assuming that when we see like the 734 Storm and we see 487 Towers, like that's a dating, that's our like time and date system. Like, I'm not sure if this is like the fourth age, 87th year or something like that, or whether that's exactly what it is. If this is the eighth age, the 11th year, like we're in the dragon age and there used to be the black age and stuff like that. And this is another thing that I really like as well is um, we're not like we're in a very well established history, which is really cool. And I, I always love that when we're just like there's so much world building in the background for us to learn about about how this world exists but yeah I, I i'm not sure which age in terms of a number we're in but i'm assuming that this is like the seventh age i don't know if it was the storm age or whether the fourth was the towers age i'm not sure how it works we don't have a exact i think what would be really nice and i wonder if we have it um it would be nice if there was like how time works, <laughs> I suppose, you know, I want to I want to know how the time and date of the world works, you know. I don't I don't think it mentions it in in stuff yet. See, this this one here is from the legend of Lithias Dwarfs and circa minus 350 ancient i'm assuming minus 350 is like this world's like bc and it's ancient it's just referred to as ancient like it's older than all of the previous ages i suppose that seems to be that seems to be the case i'm trying to th i'm trying to see if there's like anything else at the moment that would like point it out. Like this one is from Threadanese five, one to eight. Yeah, not, sh not sure, not a hundred percent sure on that. So if I could get any non-spoiler clarification on like that, that'd be fine. Revered mother. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Hmm. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. What teeth is acceptable, though? Might I suggest 30 silver? No, I gave more to my elf friends outside, so maybe. <laughs> I only have 10. Take it or leave it. One out of one is a more generous gift than 10 out of thousands. What can I do for you then? Yeah, I don't even know you guys yet, so I'd just be throwing coin around for now. I'll give it I'll give a small amount. Um oh, I wonder if we could tell I wonder how it would be if we told her that we're a grey warden. I was hoping to receive your blessing. That is not a common request from a dwarf. Naturally, I will be happy to oblige. She's going to kiss me on the forehead. In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over his path, O Maker. Give him light in darkness. See, do we know if we were guaranteed so to get be. that? If we told her we were a Grey Warden? Now, she might be like, if get out! Else. I don't know. I'm going to say perhaps I should go. Farewell to you then, good dwarf. Good dwarf. I just feel like it might not be in our best interest to be like i'm a gray warden i'm trying to think about this from a serious role play perspective and not from a let's exhaust all dialogue because last time that i have tried to approach games with let's get all the dialogue possible sometimes it has some real negative outcomes and then shall the maker return to the black city in heaven 
Look. Also, this is my favorite part about uh, holding down tab is the books because I don't want to miss the books because I don't want to miss the lore. So I'm I'm grateful for it for that reason alone. That's the mother. Is that not the mother with the with the tall red hair? This is the refugee boy, right, that we spoke to? Mother says we have to run before the nope. bad men. That's a different voice. I'm sorry, but I must prepare the Chantry's vestments before we flee. There is very little time. I don't know, man. My my crackpot theory is the Chantry is brainwashing, brainwashing them. And this was the mother of that boy, but she's been brainwashed. No. <laughs> and the boy is lost forever. Bronze symbol of Andraste, a gift. A small bronze plate with the symbol of a flame stamped into it. I wanna I wanna assume that there would be certain gifts that might resonate with different characters more. Like you can't just assume that you just gain approval of, of everyone automatically. Like I might want to hold on to some gifts for some other characters that would join our party at a later date, assumedly. I'm not just gonna give every gift possible to <laughs> to Morrigan. <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, let's see. And when the maker Sir spoke, Donald. Let us speak to Sir Donald. In the Who? Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donald. May I introduce my fellow Grey Warden? We are the last two in Ferelden. As far as I know. Terrible news indeed. But I'm glad to meet you, good sir. Might I know your name? Oh, we revealed to this guy that we're Grey Wardens without much, uh, much issue. Call me Mapo. I trust you are staying discreet with the bounty placed on your heads. Absolutely. We've heard Loghain's accusations. Absolutely I am. He's the one who betrayed the king. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Yeah, I was just going to say I got a letter for you, bro. Sir Henrik is dead. Um, let's have a look. Shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. I was hoping to meet Arliman, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Terran Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Terran has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Interesting. Do you think Loghain is involved with the Arl's illness? The Arl fell ill before the king died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlessa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Okay. So your quest for the ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Uh, I haven't forgotten about that book that I picked up, by the way. I'm a, I'm a read it. Don't worry. I know that I have a codex entry to get to. Just by the way. Tell me about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I have picked up some of this knowledge on my way here. You are, yes? I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Mm. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. He dead. Well, I'm glad that I didn't go for your friend Sir Henrik is dead first, because that might have altered this whole dialogue. <laughs> Who is Sir Henrik? My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, he dead. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. <laughs> Is there a 
reward? I drove off the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. See, this man has reinforced my... Uh, this man has reinforced my intentions of being discreet by saying so. I'm like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Being discreet. Okay. The sacred ashes of Andraste is what we've just gotten. Only one person witnessed Matharoth's betrayal, Havard the Aegis, and we have that shield. A childhood friend of Matharoth, he accompanied his chief to the meeting with the Tevinters, not realizing what was planned. When he understood that Matharoth was uh, giving Andraste over to be executed, Havard, unwilling to draw swords against his friend and liege, placed himself between Andraste and the Tevinter soldiers. The Tevinters struck him down, and Matharoth left him for dead. Gravely wounded, Havard made his way to the gates of Min Minra Minrathu Minrathus. The gates of Minrathus. I don't know if that's a silent S or not. Minrathu, Minrathhouse, Min Minrathu. So many words that you just have to fucking guess your way through, bro. <laughs> the gates of Minrathus to stop the execution. When he reached it, the terrible deed was already done. The armies of the plains long since dispersed. Havard, cursing his weakness, gathered the earthly remains of Andraste that had been left to the wind and rain, and wept. When his fingers touched the pile of ash, his ears filled with song, and he saw before him a vision of Andraste, dressed in cloth made of starlight. She knelt at his side, saying, The Maker shall never forget you, so long as I remember. The song faded, and the vision with it, and Havard was alone. But his wounds were healed. With his new strength, Havard took up the ashes of Our Lady, and bore them back to the lands of the Alamari. All right, and this was what we've just picked up before, which is Adventures of the Black Fox. So this one says, yeah, born Lord Remy Vascal in 863, blessed. Uh, and what was the one that we read before that said that, yeah, 811, blessed. So this was the eighth age, the blessed age, the blessed age. Is that right? The eighth age, the 60, 63rd year? I feel like I've read it right. The Black Fox was a dashing thief and rogue who went on to inspire so many tales of his exploits that it is nearly impossible to determine today which are true and which are merely fabricated legend. Despite coming from nobility, he has become something of a hero of the common people. His initial exploits involved ridiculing the tyrannical and powerful Lord of Val Shevan. Wearing a mask, he would appear in public and disrupt the Lord's plans to uh, to the point that the Lord angrily put a huge bounty on the life of this cunning fox, the origin of the nickname, which stuck. That the primary bounty hunter who took the job, Carolus, ended up becoming Remy's lifelong partner in crime, only after nearly killing him several times. It's, it's one of the most popular tales told in taverns today. The story is often exaggerated to make Remy appear initially buffoonish until Carolus becomes so furious at the Black Fox's inexplicable ability to survive the cunning Remy gains the upper hand, which impresses Carolus so much that the bounty hunter joins him. Uh, after years of terrorizing the Lord's men and foiling his tax collectors, a favorite pastime of Remy's, according to the Orlesian commoners, Remy was supposedly betrayed by his lover Savannah de Montfort in some versions of the tale, a mage of the circle, no less, and captured. After more than a year of torture, Remy was rescued from prison by his compatriots, including a repentant Savannah, and together they escaped Orlais. In this period of Remy's adventures, he appears almost everywhere in Thetis. I accidentally just scrolled real far. Uh, oh god, hang on. Oh, I just lost my place. Um, in this period of Remy's adventures, he appears almost everywhere in Thetis. As his legend grew, more innkeepers and merchants were happy to claim that the Black Fox had visited their village or establishment and performed some legendary feat. If the tales are to be believed, Remy led the Lord's men on a merry chase. He became embroiled in political intrigue in Navarra, was hunted by the crows of Antiva, and then kidnapped by a powerful mage in Tevinter. In each situation, Remy escaped death at the last moment, foiled the evildoer, and improved life for the poor and downtrodden. 
Then inevitably, he rejoined his band of adventurers and moved on to the next land. His companions Carolus and Savannah, the wise dwarf Bolek, you don't hear much about dwarves in these legends, representation, the wise dwarf Bolek and the tem tempestuous knight Sir Clementus have each spawned their own individual legends over the years. The stories all agree that at some point, the black fox disappeared. He and his fellow adventurers voyaged into the heart of the Arlathan forest, seeking the sunken city of the elves and never returned. Many more. Oh, fuck yeah. I understand how things work now. Let's go. Seeking the sunken city of the elves never returned. Many more are the tales that expand upon what ultimately happened to them and in that forest and postulate on how they could someday be rescued. We're in the Dragon Age, the Ninth Age, 9-11 Dragon. I know how this shit works now. So, we're in the Ninth Age, the Dragon Age. And if we actually go back to the Maker, this, talking about the Maker, was in the Fifth Age? Threadonese, the uh, fifth age, from the first to eighth year of the fifth age. Is that correct? Or is that, because it seems like it's read differently. Because this is, like this is nine, the ninth age, the 11th year of dragon. But if we go to this one, which is the maker, it's read as if it's from like a Bible or a holy text. Like you say like the chapters, the, like the chapter names of the book. I think that's, if this was the fifth age, it would say five first, and then it would be like Threadonese. I feel like this is a religious text example. So it's not from the fifth age. Again, if I'm reading that right, you could probably let me know. Uh, I feel like I have a good handle on it though, which is great. So much lore in this game, I you'd, you'd need to have a fucking good handle on it, you know? <laughs> okay, uh, we have spoken to everyone in here as much as I'd like. Let us leave. Let us get out of here. I will quick save. It shall be done. It shall be done. And we will leave. All right, let us cross the bridge now. Uh, so this is our little chanter's board. We've got a merchant here. We got a bridge here. Let us let us cross the bridge. Let us cross the bridge. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. Ooh. What company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. Interesting. Uh, they did say us returning to the camp is the best time to talk to companions. I don't know if it, that changes while we're out in the field, though. What do you need? Oh. What do you need? Ask away. Yeah, it's kind of the same. I feel like if we're at the party what camp... What do you wish of me? I like to discuss something personal, apparently. Um, I'm assuming she might say no, and we might have to wait till we're at camp, though. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. Mm. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. <laughs> what? I'd like to talk to you about something personal. You're a bitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Uh, never mind. Later, I... What? Okay, sure. Uh, later. I want to go home. <laughs> I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. Oh, dude. I'm so excited to go into a tavern. Like, what is it about this game that I'm just so excited to do absolutely everything? <gasps> Ooh, just a standard, normal, run-of-the-mill dog? Oh, it's a blue healer. I can't interact with it. I can't interact with it. I can't interact with it. Look at its silly little face with its tongue out and everything. I can't pet the dog that is not my own. It does lose points for that. It does lose points for that, unfortunately. That is a, that is a significant issue. 
Master Felleron runs us miners hard. Harder still since Ostagar. What will happen to us now that the king is dead? Doesn't even fucking bark when I click on it either. So Terran Loghain is the new regent? Isn't that a good thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. But I thought Darkspawn killed the king. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably political nonsense. We'll be lucky if they don't burn down the entire country fighting over the throne. Something that I, I really like about, and it's a subtle animation thing in this game, but I, I really like it with your character that if you are standing here facing uh, someone and you highlight them, you look at them. Like that is a, that's a really nice subtle subtle detail that your character will look uh, at the character that you highlight if you're facing them. I love it. And it works with your own party members too. And my dog. Greetings, my lord. I love being called a lord as an elf. It's great. Let's I mean, as a dwarf. Dark's great. Are coming. So how is it the Terran no gain survived? You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. I have an axe and a dagger. If any soldier wants to mess with me, I'll headbutt them in the dick. You seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? With the king dead, them darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? Uh, it was me. It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. You're, well, you're welcome, mate. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Why is the tavern full? Same reason the Chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. Tell me about these soldiers. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. Are they I looking they for almost killed the man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the king's army. Interesting. I should go. Ah, of course. And good luck to you. We could all use some, no? No. Oh. he couldn't save poor King Caelan. Blast those grey wardens. They deserve what they got and more. Yeah, there's so much going on. Elder Miriam, we got Allison over there, we got some chastens over there. Should we try the tavern first? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Mapo Bro? Mapo Broska? Please, we came here to get There's actually there's a lot in here. I don't know who Stan is, but they got get Stan here too. From the fighting. Hello, Allison. Hello, uh stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Do I, did I not unlock trap making yet? Pretty sure I did, right? What do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. I can't make traps. I thought I, uh, I, I, I did poison making. I haven't done trap making yet. Damn it. Why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Allison, I'm going to learn how to make traps. I'm going to come back here specifically to help you out. Maybe. If I remember. Balin has poison traps on his land? Ah, oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. Okay. Uh, I sorry, I can't make traps. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Fuck. I'm useless. Can't even make traps. What is what is up with me? Can't even make traps. Um, where is it? Ooh, dog talents. No shit. I got cool stuff in here. Nemesis. What do we got? Growl? It's like having your own Pokemon, and these are its four moves. Growl? Growl so fearsomely that its opponent suffers a penalty to defense, unless it passes a mental resistance check. A loud howl. Just a, a growl and a howl, stunning most nearby enemies. Fortitude. Increased tolerance for the elements. Bonuses to uh, the elements. Resistance. And charge. We charge at the enemy, dealing normal damage if the attack hits and knocking the opponent down. Combat training. Shred. 
shred, nice, tears at it with its powerful jaws, overwhelm, pinning it to the ground and attacking it repeatedly, and Nemesis, a relentless killer, bonuses to health and health regen. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, that's our talents. What about our skills? Fucking trap making. I haven't made it yet. Goddamn. I knew I should have learned trap making, but I, I can give, um... These characters can make traps as well. I don't have to give it to just me. I might give Alistair trap making and I'll do herbalism and poison making because you don't need to give it to uh, all to one character. Studded leather hair. I would take it. Oh, well, now we can't talk to this person anymore. I hope more Fuck. soldiers make it out of Ostagar. So much tragedy. Now I can't even help that person if I wanted to later. That's bullshit. I should have just not spoken to that person. <laughs> I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Dude. We're planning on running that mine until the last minute. Felleron's orders. It's actually just I'm really I'm really happy with the dialogue. Pile of filth! Let's go check out the pile of filth. Where can we go? This is no better than what we left. Pile of filth. Oh, I'm surprised it's not poop. Almost disappointed that it's not poop, actually. But that's fine. Some elf fruit. That'll do. Fuck, now I'm scared to talk to people until I am maxed out, max level, have everything so I can help everyone. I, I, I joke, uh, naturally. Um, I will take that because I will probably just sell it. I will sell it. Elder Miriam. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Oh, I recognize, um, I recognize this voice. I'm gonna need to hear it more. Where do I know this voice from? What's going on here? Ever since good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft, or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense <sighs> and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Herbology teacher, Harry Potter, in uh, in the video games, uh, Philosopher's Philosopher's Stone, or if you're in America, the Sorcerer's Stone. Herbology teacher. Too much to do and not enough time. Do you need any help? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I do actually. I know a bit about herbalism. I can be useful. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Let's go. Uh, quest updated. Elder Miriam has requested that you use your skill with herbs to craft some lesser health potions for the injured refugees of Lothering. Three of these should suffice. Okay, so now this is basically me doing my potion crafting tutorial, similar to how I guess that other uh, Allison would have gotten us to do a trap making tutorial. How the. I, oh yeah, hang on. I do it here, right? Herbalism? Fuck yeah. Create item. Create item. Create item. Alright, I did it. Yo, let's go. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? Yeah, I didn't need them. I I did it, bro. I already picked up this elf fruit. It did come from a stinking pile of mess. Some of that elf fruit, but uh, I didn't need them. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I don't need to go herb finding. Fifty silver. Hell yes. I did not need to go herb searching. Thanks for the poultices. They may save some lives. I'm just going to call them potions, man. I call them what they are. They're potions. You um, me a favor. I saw you take the supplies from my car. <laughs> Use 
You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough. Did you hear People that? People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough. That man's dialogue, uh, I could hear it, but it sounded like he was like 50 meters away in an auditorium like yelling it was so quiet that he was like so far away i don't know what the fuck happened there i can't even highlight him or speak to him which is weird that marsh man stole from me i know it okay the carnage we left in the wilds was horrifying you do not seem a refugee we are part of the army okay we got a codex entry for that uh, the chastened wilders have lived in the Kokari wild since the first wars with the Alamari drove them southward a millennium ago. According to their own lore, they had always been a forest dwelling people that had adapted quickly to their new home. Game and fish are plentiful in the wetlands and the chastened thrived. Um, okay, for a time, they and the hill dwelling Avars were true threats to the northern lowlands. The Tevinter Imperium had arrived and was hard pressed to keep back the waves of invasions from the south and the west. The fortress of Ostagar was built specifically to watch for chastened hordes venturing north of the tree line. It was not until the legendary warrior Hafter soundly defeated the chastened in the first half of the Divine Age, okay, what year was the Divine Age, that the question of their ability to contest the lowlands was settled permanently. Today, the chastened are considered largely peaceful, though their ways are still primitive compared to our own. In the Kokari wilds, they live in strange-looking huts built on stilts or even built into the great treetops. They paint their faces and are split into small tribes ruled by shamans like those amongst the Avars. There are many tales of these shamans having learned their magic from the witches of the wilds, witches that inspire as much terror as they do awe and gratitude. Even if there is no definitive proof, they exist. In particular, the tale of Flemeth, the greatest witch of the wilds, is celebrated amongst all tribes. While there is no way to know how many there are in the wilds today, few travelers that pass through the forests tell of chastened um, e eking, uh, eking out an existence, even in the frozen wastelands of the far south. One can assume that should the chastened ever organize themselves once more, we might have reason to fear them here in Ferelden. We ignore them at our peril. Okay. Uh, before we head out of this town, we will head into the tavern and meet with the soldiers. Talk to everyone in the Let's see. Do we have a fight in our hands or are we gonna, well, all gonna sit and play look Gwent? Look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a dwarf by this very description? Mm -hmm. I knew they and were gonna be looking for us. I hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there is no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Not having a round of Gwent, then. Let's talk about this before things get out of hand. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. Okay. Oh. Lel uh, Leliana? Leliana's in here too. Look at this. All right. Uh, Morrigan, as a ranged mage, is in the perfect spot for this battle, right in the fucking middle of it. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got here? I'ma do, because there's a few people in my way, I'ma do dual weapon sweep. Alistair is gonna do... Precise striking. Um, you. I can choose where I want you to move, right? Can I do that? Yes, nice. So I can choose Morgan to move there for her move. Dog, do your dread howl. Actually, I don't know how. What's the range of the attack? Range medium. Do that. 
the range of that was amazing. Holy shit. Okay, Morgan's over here now. The caster enchants the party's weapons with frost. Yeah, do that. All right, let's let's ice these fuckers. Uh, I'm gonna move here. I feel like I'm gonna get real used to this combat real quickly, especially with making use of like the pause system and tactical like movement. What I will tell you is I I fucking love it. Um, you can do below the belt on this fucker. You, my boy, deal with the one at long range. Go and fucking charge that fucker. Alistair, he's doing fine. Yeah, yeah you, go, you go take out the... Okay. I feel like I'm fine to just let it, let it roll, to be honest, but... This man's frozen. Oh! Every time that I say I'm free to just let it roll, someone dies. I didn't know. Alistair dies so quick. To be fair, he's probably getting ganged up on by the whole group. You should try while you can. All right, you've won. We surrender. Oh. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. <laughs> Alistair died. Well, he fucking got knocked out, like, right. We just had to go for the commander. That's so funny. Dude, I love the combat of this game. Like, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is about it. That's, it's so much more satisfying than Knights of the Old Republic. Like, they took what they built with Knights of the Old Republic, but it just flows so much better. Like, it's super satisfying. It's faster, I think, as well. I don't know. The whole, the whole system just feels so much better than Knights of the Old Republic. Um, and I mean, it should, it's quite a few years later that this game came out. Um, it's so satisfying. It's, it, it's genuinely like, like being able to plan it out on that level. And that's without me even diving into the like real super deeply into the tactics system yet as well. The adding a whole tactics level for so many different situations is just an incredible attention and uh, level of detail that I will get into and explore as we go on. We did do that quite a bit with the ogre last episode, which was fun because we saw that it actually gave us like the big advantage we needed to win that fight. So I feel like I will just use the tactics menu when I feel that it's appropriate, but I'm, I'm really, really liking uh, the combat. So we'll try and do a situation where when we pause, I'll try and have like the, my character, I'll try and have Mapo move like behind some characters and then do an attack. Our hound being able to do a fucking group stun at the start is great. We can have uh, Morrigan heal the party, buff the party, attack from a distance. Like it's, it's so good. All right. So we were helped out by um, Liliana. And this is another thing. We're all covered in blood because we just engaged in a in a bloody tavern brawl. It would, if we turned off the the blood, it would be strange, wouldn't it? I love having my characters bathed in the blood of their enemies. <laughs> they aim to butcher us. They deserve no mercy. That'll cast us in a great positive light. Should we take a message to Logan, or should we like stealth it and let him believe that you know we're we're not around or not a threat, so he hasn't heard of us? And therefore, we can get the element of surprise. I don't want them reporting to Lugan. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. I don't want them to report. Take a message to Lugan. Hmm. This is the problem. I don't think it's right to kill them, but at the same time, I'm just like... If they start running and we let them go, we might pay for it later. Yes, thank you, thank you! Now fuck off then. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I like that the second option is, it's all right, I was happy to save your life when I just know that the dialogue response is gonna be, ah, uh, excuse me, I believe I helped you out. <laughs> like, I don't think that we saved her life at all. In fact, Alistair died in battle. <laughs> Um, so I see. Where does a sister learn to fight like that? 
I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one Liliana. of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. She's got a nice voice. It's very, like, nice to listen to. Um, you can call me Mapo if you must. I am Mapo. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Very presumptuous of you, but I could have guessed as soon as I saw you had a name that you would join my party. Nice, okay. <laughs> Lie. Okay. You are very mistaken. Why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. Alright. <laughs> the Maker is on my side. Welcome aboard. Can you elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Interesting. Are we meant to do the Maker's work? I'm not sure. I had a dream! This handsome, rugged dwarf would sprout out of the ground and kill people in a tavern that I would hang out in and I would join him. I need more than prayers, I'm afraid. I can fight. I can do more than fight. As I said, I was not always a lay sister. I put aside that life when I came here. But now, if it is the Maker's will, I will take it up again. Gladly. Please let me help you. Very well. I will not turn away help when it is offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, that's I Alistair. I being given this chance. I will not let you down. Alistair's the one with the... F Ooh. Alistair's the one with the cracked skull. Yo. Oh. Oh. This is... Oh, this is cool. Dude, I cannot... I cannot even tell you how happy I am with this game. You know, I can't put that into words right now, but I am very happy with this game. And there's just something about a fantasy setting that makes the idea of role playing like so exciting. This is why Dungeons and Dragons is like so popular in that specific setting. Like having Dungeons and Dragons in Star Wars, great. Role playing in space, Mass Effect, like sci-fi role playing, great. I love it, I love all of it. But there's just something about fantasy that hits a particular spot. And I think it's the fact that I don't I don't know what it is specifically about it, but I think it's the fact that it has a very massive amount of realism to it in the age of our own history and you know in European stuff in the age of swords and arrows and stuff with the added elements of fantasy like mages and dragons and all of that kind of stuff. It's just something about it that it just hits different. Like it scratches a very particular itch and it feels so good to get into and, and role play in. Uh, again, that's why people love Dungeons and Dragons. That's why Critical Role's D&D series are so beloved. There's just something about it that just resonates with a lot of people, I think. Um, and I'm having a lot more fun being in the shoes of my character, like trying to role play it in a way that isn't, oh, I'm always going to do the nice thing. I'm always going to do the bad thing. It's like, I like that. I, I feel that my character responds appropriately to certain situations. Like, I like being a bit of a dick to some people sometimes. Or I like, you know, I don't know this person, so I'm going to be untrusting of you and I'm kind of going to, you know, try and be a little bit standoffish before I say, all right, cool, you can come and join us. There's just something so fun and satisfying about running th through the game with that sort of mentality instead of just going, oh, I'm always going to pick good, I'm always going to pick bad. And that's something that Mass Effect failed at for me is it always pushed me. It I always felt pushed to be a paragon or you feel pushed to be a renegade. You always feel pushed into a particular dialogue choice. And while most of the time it was the choice I wanted to make, there is an aspect of it that you feel nudged in that direction at the same time. Rarely did you want to make a middle ground choice because you felt that it, you felt that it wouldn't have an outcome. 
you felt you would be potentially missing out on something. In this game, I don't feel that at all. I think even in Knights of the Old Republic, you don't really feel that at all, especially in Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, which was Obsidian. But you feel that you can definitely pick those middle ground options more. Every dialogue option has like value to it. Even if it might not be the case, it's the illusion of that that is maintained. And it feels, it feels very satisfying to not always, uh, there isn't like a clear, this will have a positive outcome, this will have a negative outcome dialogue. It feels it can be reached many different ways. And I fucking adore it. Um, anyway, we've got our party. This confirms that we have a maximum party of four. Um, I ha I'm, I'm a bit torn on this, right? Because a dog is man's best friend. And I love dogs and I love having a dog in my party. And I think I want to have my dog in my party all the time. However, I'm not sure how that's going to affect character approval and disapproval and strengthening relationships with characters. Logically, you'd look at this and go, I should have the three characters in my party that can speak and I can build relationships with because my dog is going to be loyal to me no matter what. You know what I mean? Um, but then at the same time, emotionally, I'm like, I want to have my dog with me. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's tough. Like, I wish that you could just like, let's ditch having a maximum party. Let's have every single party member room with me at once. They did it in Lord of the Rings. Why can't we have a fellowship of the ring? I'll have my four hobbits, my, my wizard, my three warriors, you know, just have them all together. My elf and my dwarf and just have them all together. <laughs> Um, oh, why are you gonna why are you gonna do this to me? All right. Um, and also Liliana being a, a rogue was interesting. So she's she's a rogue. We got a mage, a rogue, a warrior, and a war dog. And now I'm just like, God damn it, I'm already a rogue. Um, how do I? Lost and damnation. Oh, you didn't like being taken out of the party, did you? Indeed. Oh, indeed. Lost and damnation. She doesn't like being removed. Oh, blast it. Huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, blast it. You see, he's fine with being removed. He just lies down. He's like, oh, I'll take a rest. Oh, plays him music when he joins. Can I take myself out of the party? Yeah, of course not. Indeed. Oh, indeed. With a bit of sass. Blood and damnation. Blood and damnation. Indeed. Do they both say the same thing? Lost and damnation. Oh, they say the same thing. Indeed. Why? Of all the... Of all the... They, why do they both say, like, blast and damnation and indeed? Indeed. 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 Blood and damnation. She says blood and damnation? She says blast and damnation? Blast and damnation. That's so weird. It's like they're in a... It's like they're in a, a rehearsal and they're trying to get the role and they're both auditioning for the part. Who can say the same thing better? Indeed. Indeed. Obviously, Morrigan says it better. Indeed. She just says it with a little more... A, li a little more sexiness. Of all the... Blast and damnation. Yes. God damn it. Why is it going to make me choose with my party Blast members? It. All right, Alistair, I'm sorry, you're out. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, and dog. Sorry, Alistair, you're out for a sec. Why are they going to make me choose, man? That's exactly the same. So I'll take it and I'll sell it. Go about your business. Go about go about your business. Continue drinking. This is Grey Warden business. Denial. You're going to make more trouble? Well, you've about all we can stand in Lothering now. I'm probably going to go back to the party camp soon then, and I reckon I'll talk to everyone. That'll be a good way to like kind of sit and have a chat with everyone, probably. Sorry about the mess. They had it coming, and they were trouble enough themselves. So long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a full house. Oh, I mean, you're not as much of a full house as you were before I arrived. Technically, I have killed a few and made a couple run. So I've actually freed up room, if you don't, you know, if you noticed. I don't suppose you have any rooms, considering you just told me you were full up. Look around. People are sleeping on the floors and in the attic. That's how many rooms I don't have. Too many rooms for a dwarf? Have you heard any rumors? Thank the maker we didn't lose Tyrn Loghain at Ostagar. 
He pulled his troops out just in time, so he said. Without him, we'd be lost. Anything else I can get you? Convenient. Uh, heard any other rumors? I hear that Tier Logan, the regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. Anything else I can get you? Any other rumors? With King Caelan dead, the throne falls to Queen Honora. She's made her father the regent, however, at least for now. I think Caelan's father, old King Merrick, would have approved. Anything else I can get you? Heard any other rumors? I hear news from Dinnerham that Tian Logain has been declared the new regent. It makes sense, his daughter being the queen. Anything else I can get you? Any other rumors? I hear tell they held a funeral in Dinnerham for King Caelan. The Grand Cleric called for a full day of mourning and there was a procession a mile long passing by the brazier. It's too bad they don't have a body to properly burn. What happened to him at the hands of those creatures, it's unthinkable. Anything else I can get you? Rumor, please. Some folks aren't happy about Tian Logan being named Regent. There are rumors he had something to do with the King's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tian Logan couldn't save the King from that end, then nobody could. Anything else I can get you? At least they don't think the Grey Wardens did it. I heard from some travellers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe. Overrun by Darkspawn, maybe. There's no word from the village at all. A merchant friend of mine said he encountered someone fleeing the place and there was nothing waiting for him there but death. He wisely turned around and came right back. Anything else I can get you? It's not just Darkspawn in the hall. This man's full of rumours. There are people with him. Folks who are sick with the blight and their minds are all twisted and mad. I heard tell of a man meeting his own brother on the field, yet when he called out to him, his brother didn't even recognize him and just attacked. Anything else I can get you? I've heard a lot of stories of bands of darkspawn roaming the countryside far north of the Kokori Wilds. They just seem to appear out of nowhere and disappear just as fast. Anything else I can get you? I hear the Dwarven King is passed on. Old as he was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the dwarves normally go out, isn't it? Anything else I can get you? They gave this man every rumour in the goddamn world. There's knights from Redcliffe spread all over Ferelden on some kind of mission, but I hear that they're starting to become rare to find. Maybe they all went back to Redcliffe. They're looking or for like ashes. They got tired of searching for something that can't be found and abandoned their search. I wonder what Earl Eamon is going to do without any knights. Anything else I can get you? Something's going on at the Mage's Tower at Lake Callenhard. Nobody knows exactly what, though, and the Templars aren't saying. Exactly what we need, isn't it? Let's hope the Mages are just cooking up something to deal with the Darkspawn. Somebody should be, after all. Anything else I can get you? I'm loving the innkeep that just fucking knows shit. Like this man just be hearing all the comings and goings of all the people coming into the tavern. This man got information. He giving it out for free. He not even asking money for this information. He's not like, oh, I got information, but it'll cost you. So he's not a smart man, but he's a helpful one. He ain't going, give me a gold piece and I'll let you know what's going on. Like most people do, like most people do that in when you want information, you pay for it. That's like a very standard, typical thing. <laughs> With a defeat at Ostagar, it's inevitable that the dark happy to have someone to talk to. Moving north soon, they have no one standing in their way, do they? Anything else I can get you? This man just has not spoken to someone face to face in a long time. He's just had people speaking at him or around him, and we are giving him attention. And he's like. Finally, I hear from folks traveling the East Roads that there's werewolves in the Brazilian forest. Actual werewolves. They haven't been around since the days of Dane and his ilk. Anything else I can get you? I've heard a rumor that the reason Queen Enora has never produced an heir is that she's barren. Ooh. It's a curse from the maker for bringing a commoner into the royal line. Until someone of royal blood is put on the throne, there will never be an heir. It seems the royal line of Kalinod has been broken for good, no? Anything else I can get you? There's a nasty rumor going around that the Grey Wardens are evil and that they worship the Archdemon. 
They're the ones that caused the blight. They were getting upset, see, that there was no use for them anymore. So they summoned up the Archdemon <laughs> to do their bidding. It would explain a great many things. The Anything conspiracy theory of the Grey Wardens fighting the Blight being like, it's the only way that they're useful, therefore they created it in order to stay relevant. <laughs> Some hunters who range into the Brazilian forest say that a Dalish clan there has fallen to some kind of sickness. The Blight, most likely, poor sods. Anything else I can get you? I'm genuinely in shock. Like, it becomes a bit of a uh, bit of a surprise at this point where I'm like, oh, there's actually a lot of dialogue here. There's a lot of rumors. And then it gets to a point where I'm like, it's eh, still going. I can't believe it. I'm hearing many tales of corpses clawing out of their graves all over. Not just people either, animals too. Just yesterday, a farmer told <laughs> me about the kitten his daughter had buried behind his barn. Not the zombie the kitten. Came back to life and crawled up, mewling as loud as you please. His daughter was delighted. <laughs> At least until it just about chewed her finger off. <sighs> Strange days, I tell you. Not the zombie Anything kitten. I, I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. I'm so happy that the game doesn't repeat itself in case you forget. It just, he literally says, I'm all out, bitch. Get out. I, d I don't know, actually. Sorry, nothing's coming to mind. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what can I get you then? Amazing. Who are these men I fought exactly? When Tian Logang marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. Uh, you'll keep that to yourself. And not tell anyone that just wanders in here asking about rumours. Because you seem to have a very open mouth. I have no qualm with you, whatever the Tian says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? Your grandfather served with the Grey Wardens or just served alongside them? Luck speed your way. Lore drop to Niall's grandfather, Grey Warden? We're only resting until we can head north with everyone else. Barlin. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Okay. Um. Don't worry about him. I took care of it. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. Show me what you've got. Uh, let's have a look, mate. You got a backpack? I need bag. I need bag. What if I bought these traps before I... What if I bought these, uh, these, oh, they're just trap plans. Yeah, what if I bought these traps before speaking to that girl? Would I have just been able to give her my traps? Why couldn't I just tell her? I could just tell her that these traps are being sold. She lied. She's like, uh, all the traps have been bought already. I'm like, clearly you're not looking very hard. But sure, whatever. <laughs> all right. Um, what do I want to buy? What do I want to buy here? Incense of awareness. More aware of surrounding action, but less able to resist hostile influences. A bonus to defense, but a penalty to mental resistance. Hmm. Glamour charm? Ninety-nine trap triggers. Ninety-nine flasks, too. Thorn of the Dead Gods. What are you doing carrying around a weapon with this name? No simple blades. These daggers date back to the time of the first blight. They were crafted into Winter Imperium as weapons to fight against the Darkspawn Horde and fell in battle with the mages that first wielded them. Plus one damage, plus one armor penetration. A Sailor's Crossbow. This crossbow seems smaller and lighter than most other crossbows. It is stained with tar and has seen much use, but it is still in fine shape. 26 strength, eh? A lightning rod. It'd be nice if I could compare this to... Because uh, this is like a, we a weapon that you would give to a mage, like Morrigan. It'd be nice if you could compare it to the character that has it equipped instead of comparing it to uh, my main character's gear. Holding this thing is unnerving. Whose idea was it to make this thing conductive? Plus 10 electricity damage and resistance. Um, 
Considering the fact that Morrigan has the lightning spell, that would be not a bad idea, to be honest with you. Ooh, we got some some war paint here for, for dogs too. Plus one stamina regen and plus two dexterity. These are expensive. Sheesh. This pattern from the Arling of Redcliffe is traditional for dogs that fight on the front lines of a battle. And originating from the Banorn, this uh, pattern is painted on dogs that must pursue fleeing cavalry. I really like having like lore to the war paint as well. So cool. Uh, Amulet of Accord, which uh, reduces hostility and plus 10 physical resistance. The pendant of this amulet is broken, the bottom cleaved away by some great blade. Scratched into the back, an inscription reads, they'll never see me coming. Golden rope necklace, which is a gift. This unique necklace is made of delicate gold strands twisted together in a thick rope. Interesting. I'm going to buy that gift. Ale. Oh, ale is also a gift. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to buy some ale. Uh, shiny gold ring. Also a gift. A simple gold band polished to a mirror-like shine. Perfect. Um, a gold band. Very nice and simple. Just a wedding band for Morrigan until I get her the engagement ring. Perfect. <laughs> Bored. <laughs> um, lovely. All right. I just bought gifts. Why? Oh, hang on. There must be a quest from you still, too, as well. You hear about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Uh. Oh, know of any well paying work in Lutheran? Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um. <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about, uh. poison? P poison? I do have poison skills. Maker's blood? Why do you need poison? Well, my farm is far oh, from town. you're the fucking not poison trap to say man. I'm okay. nervous about dark spawn. Okay. I've got some traps around the place. I've heard the poison hurts them beasties just as good as anybody else. Now it makes sense why he has all the traps in his inventory because he's the trap man. Okay, it's it's a sound. There are no holes in the plot line. Allison knows what she's talking about. This man's got all the traps. But if I bought them first, I could have given to her to them maybe. Uh, what if some refugee triggers your trap? Well, then those bleeding sad salts should stay off my land, eh? Besides, these days, any folk out at night is more than like to slit your throat. Can you make poison or not? So we have a optional trap, potion, and poison tutorial quest, almost, of can you do this, can you make it for me? The potion one helps people out, the trap one helps out that lady. The poison one, I feel, is more of a negatively geared one because it has the potential to do harm to innocence at the same time. Uh, that's a harebrained idea, if I've ever heard one. That's what Elder Miriam said. But it's my coin and my land. I just want to rest a little easier at night. This is a situation where it's damned if you do, damned if you don't, because he's going to get someone else to do it, you know? In the, in the land of fantasy, someone else is going... He's going to hit up some other poison expert who comes into this tavern, and they will get poisoned regardless. And they will get his money, not me. And we can't have that. I have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. Tell me what you got. All right, hang on. A poisonous proposition. Uh, create a poison. The farmer Balin wants uh, wants to place poisonous traps about his farm to protect it from beasties and other trespassers. He's asked you to create a suitable poison for him. Three flasks of venom should do the trick. Poison making. Okay. No, I can make death root, not venom. All right, I need toxin extract. Um. Sheesh. I might have to actually get the ingredients this time. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? Here to see my stock? Uh, show me what you got. Fuck. I can't even ask him for an idea of where to look now. Ooh. He's also got the... Rec oh, he's got recipes for stuff as well. 
lesser injury kit recipe. I need a better injury kit recipe. Um, mate, you don't even have, you don't have venom, you fuck. You just have the flasks. Alright, I'm gonna go find some venom, I suppose. Where could I find that? Um... I don't. Um, I wonder if it'll actually tell me where I, where I can go. Oh, you're here to see my stock. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. Oh, I've already got them. I've got three. I've got three in my inventory. I just I just have them sitting in my inventory because these these are the ones that you can use on weapons. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't have to actually go anywhere, baby. Nice. Also, I have a question. Never mind, I've already answered my own question. Because you have both weapon sets equipped, and this one is like plus one strength. If you decided to switch to weapon set two, do you lose that plus one strength bonus? Or does it stay on? I wonder. Any luck with that That's poison? why I guess we can't well, ask him, hey, where can I get the stuff? Because we actually do have what he asked for. Splendid. I have the three venoms already. Here's some I prepared land. earlier. I hope it teaches him a lesson. Yeah, it's enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? <laughs> yes, here's some that I prepared earlier. 75 silver. Nice. I'll take it. I just need to pay more attention to when I get the money that pops up down there, because sometimes I don't even see when it comes in. Oh, the bard. Sorry, I don't, I don't know, know any dwarven, dwarven songs. songs. Okay. Just play what the asks. Doesn't know any dwarven songs, aka rude bastard, uncultured. Go learn some some dwarven tales, will ya? <laughs> sorry about the sorry about the bones on the floor, by the way. Um, what's out here? What's in here? So I'm just gonna go look in your storeroom real quick. Oh, uh, hello. Um, do you mind? Do you mind if I steal from you? Enough. I'll not have my kitchen invaded by ramblers tracking mud in on their shoes. All right. Well, here's another thing that I'm gonna do, just in case. I'm gonna I'm gonna take everybody out. Sorry to intrude. And then I'm gonna tell them to sit still. And I'm I'm a boof into it. <laughs> Uh, mm, wooden shield, nah. What's in the barrel? A deep mushroom. Nothing to see here, everybody. Pile of sacks. Another iron ring. How much does this sell for again? Six silver? Nah, nah. Uh, I, I came in here and stealthed to steal a mushroom. I'm scared. When are we going home? And you're now talking to a dwarven ghost. All right, bye. <laughs> all right, all right, fellas. Squad. Got me mushroom. Stole a mushroom out of the kitchen. Didn't steal any any other gear. The new recruiters I'm, I'm good to go. Keep your voice. Um, good to go. Yes. Yes. Uh, what do you know of this place? Blow the ring. I think it started as a settlement by the river, and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. There are always people in Lothering, but many are just passing through. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Here you are. This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. <sighs> I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on the peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. What then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw, but there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. 
have faith. Hmm? And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or... Or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? The Chantry says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Believe what feels right to you, Liliana. Thank you. It's nice to find someone who agrees. I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. Terran wants a new army, but is it Liana the approves. Dragon Age really be hitting you no with idea. the goth I'm baddie sure and the redhead queen? God damn it, well, game. It appeals specifically to a common interest, doesn't it? They're like, let's give you the 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 fierce redhead and the goth. The goth witch. <laughs> God damn it, game. Pain in my butt. I'm going to just walk away with my dog and be happy. I'm going to be a dwarf with my dog and I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get involved with the, with women. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm out of here. I've, I wish I could bring my dog with me specifically. Should I just have my dog follow? All right. See you later. We're out of here. Just me. Just me and my dog. Life's simple. Me and my dog staring at the sun. And this is when we bring our episode of Dragon Age to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love this game so much. Uh, instantly a classic, that's for sure. This game is just spectacular. I love that when uh, Morrigan buffed our ice weapons, it just turns the whole dog to ice. Just buffed the dog, turned it into an ice hound. We it's, have much to do. That's fucking hilarious. Um... That was a dramatic zoom in. I love this game so much. It's it's so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Loving getting into the nitty gritty of dialogue, character interactions, uh, and and all sorts. But uh, but thank thank you so much for for joining me for this episode of Dragon Age. Next time we will continue to explore the town of Lothering. I believe we're on our way out almost. Um, we'll head up this way and see what is available to us, and we'll probably check out the party camp at some point to have a chat to all of the characters uh, separately. But who knows what we'll uh, lie in wait next time. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you then.